Hey, so it's been exactly two months now since I self-published this book, Ignition. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how much money I made from doing that and whether it was worth it in the end. So to begin with, I should say that I've never written a book before. And this is quite a long book for me, especially like 252 pages of golden advice in this book. It's a non-fiction book about business and starting an online business and so on. Uh, so it took me a while, it took me six months to write this book to have it proofread and everything else and honestly I didn't have a clue what I was doing through the whole process. I was kind of guessing, asking other people what I should do, doing a lot of research on Google and I didn't have a clue so I kind of winged my way through the whole process but I got there in the end. Right? I actually had four or five revisions of the cover graphic on the front and the back as well because they were misaligned and stuff. Anyway, it took a long time and when I got to the point of publishing it I really had no idea as to whether it would work out well or not. And right now I have some figures for you on my phone just so I get these figures right. So we ended up selling within the first two months of going live 736 copies. Okay now we reached number four in the best seller chart in the UK and also number 27 in the USA's best seller chart, not for some random category like underwater basket weaving or like donkey training or something weird, but actually the category of e-commerce, okay? So this was quite a big category and honestly, as a first time publisher, I was happy with that. I would have loved to get a number one bestseller, but to be honest, as long as I can call myself a bestseller because I was in the bestseller chart and I had the little thing next to the book, that's all I care about for branding purposes for my business. So that's that was great to begin with, right? But you may think, James, you must have made a million dollars, right? <laughs> Let me explain how much money I earned from that. So 736 copies. I spent £1,931 UK pounds and 29 pence to do that, right? So close to 2,000 pounds, roughly uh, like 2,300 US dollars or something roughly of course, um, amount earned, drum roll please, was 1,626 pounds. Wait, what? So I actually lost money by selling this book and becoming a bestseller for this book. So my net loss was 304 pounds and 50 pence, exactly. Um, so to begin with you think, Damn, I've just spent the last six months writing a book that, yes, it became a bestseller, so I can call myself a best-selling author, um, but ultimately what matters most is the financial returns from that time spent and the effort spent as well, when I could have been doing other things. So net loss of £304, but there's a big caveat to this. This is just in, uh, taking into account the sales of the book itself because I spent a lot of money on advertising. That's not a traditional way to do things for most self-published authors. A lot of people just rely on Amazon, you know, book reviews and that kind of stuff. I'm more of a marketer and I like to actually push people towards my book and actually, you know, find out about that through advertising methods. So that was the loss that I made from um, getting this book out there. But the thing is, marketing and business in general is not just about one offer. This is basically an offer, isn't it, right? People buy this, they learn about you, they learn about your methods and so on. So when you're self-publishing a book, don't think about just the book. Think about everything after that as well. So in my case, what happened was that I actually had a bunch of sales of my other products after people purchased this book. And that came to 2,894 pounds and one pence. And that is again in UK pounds. So already I've made a profit on the advertising spend and everything else coming into the book, right? After that, I then had people buy my coaching program, all right? So I had 22 new coaching clients at 3,000 US dollars each, which came to 66,000 US dollars. Okay, a little confusing with the different currencies, but I basically sell my products in US dollars and get paid into my bank account in UK pounds. Doesn't really matter, it's the money that counts, right? So 22 new coaching clients at $3,000 each, which is basically helping people to grow an online business successfully in an area which they find interesting and fun, and that came to $66,000. And you think, wow, that's already pretty good, right? But it doesn't stop there. From those people, we had two of them um, join our premium done for you service, which is 25,000 US dollars per client, okay? So we had two times $25,000, which was $50,000. 
the total for that was, in, including everything and everything else, was uh, a profit of 118,000 uh, 894 pounds and one pence. The one penny matters, right? Uh, but $118,000 from this becoming a bestseller. The truth is, I made a loss on the book, but my profit came from everything after that. And the lesson here really is that it's not always about the immediate sale, okay? So when you write your book, if you, that's something you want to do, if you're thinking of writing a book, don't just consider the book, but think of the opportunities after that. Can you create a course around something you're teaching or a topic in the book? Can you create a coaching program? Can you create some kind of done for them service where you're helping them to achieve something by doing it for them, right? So think of the book as the beginning to the whole process, as a way to acquire the customer, and then in which ways can you help those same customers with uh, obviously a higher price point. You know, these different products were at higher price points, ranging from $27, ranging up to $25,000. So honestly, was it worth it? Yes, it was a lot of effort, a lot of work, and I lost money in the beginning, but over time, I recouped my investment and made a whole bunch of profit too. And keep in mind, this is just from a two-month period, and honestly, for me, the branding of you know being a best-selling author um, is kind of an authority generating uh, status really, and that really helps me to generate more clients as well. So if you're thinking of writing a book, I'd say go for it, right? Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you want to find out specifically what I did to make sales from you know, people buying this book and afterwards, how did I get people into those other programs of mine? How did I get people into my coaching program and how did I create the coaching program in the first place? And everything in between, go ahead and visit the URL on the screen right now and you'll be able to actually learn more about how we do that. And also, you can get your copy of this book, by the way, all right? So, have a great day and uh, good luck with your book. Speak to you soon, bye-bye.